guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a tour of Remy's little nursery that we have finished up. Um, it's very girly and I absolutely love the way it turned out. So if you are interested in the nursery tour, please keep watching. All right, so this is kind of the view you get when you um, see the baby's room as you're walking in. And um, I'll just go ahead and get started and go in order throughout the bedroom and show you guys everything that we have set up for our little girl. <clears throat> so over here, we just have um, her little Ikea hems dresser and the knobs were originally like black and I painted them gold to kind of go with her room. And then we just have this changing table on the top from, I think it was Walmart, same with the cover. It's just a plush pink type of cover. And then I'll go in here a little bit and show you these adorable prints. These are a little fairy tale story that my sister got for me um, at my baby shower. And they're so cute. They just have little woodland creatures on it and a story that kind of goes in order. So I thought these were adorable. Um, and these frames that I got were actually like those really cheap plastic black frames. And I just got some gold paint and hand painted the edges so they kind of have an old antique gold look around them. This little frame over here is from Home Goods. I got it with a gift card for my birthday. And it's just a really pretty antique looking gold frame. And the picture inside says, you are so loved, which I thought really went well with her room. So I love that. Now I'll go over what I have in her dresser drawer. Okay, so I have it pretty well organized. So these organizers are also from Ikea. They're really cute. Um, they're gray and they have like a little design on them. So over here I just have all of her wipes. I got a lot of wipes at the baby shower and they are all the sensitive skin wipes. There's the Pampers and then the Target Up and Up brand. So I just have those thrown in there. And then these are just a bunch of her diapers that I assume we will go through pretty quickly. So right here I just have all of her little knickknacks. Um, so right here is all of her socks, little slippers, things like that. Super cute. Um, and then I also have, what do, what, are you, what do you call them? Like little mittens. And then right here I have all of her bows and headbands that I've gotten so far. Just a lot of cute random ones. Over here I have all of her um, like hair brushes, nail clippers, that sort of thing. And then I'll show you further back see if it shows that. Um, back here, you can't really see, but I have just her little gas drops, her little booger sucker upper things, thermometer, medicine dropper, those sorts of things back there. And these are all just some of her beanies. I have a handful of them packed away in her hospital bag, but these are what I still have sitting here. So, And yeah, that's pretty much her top drawer. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the next one. Okay, so in this one, I just have a lot of her simple onesies. Um, a lot of these ones were actually given to me from my sister-in-laws because they both have all little girls and um, they are done pretty much having kids. So they gave me a lot of little onesies that are like super cute, good shape. So I put those all in here and that's all of those right there. And then right here, I just have all of her little stretchy pants. These are super cute, just little polka dotted stretch pants. Jeggings, her 4th of July outfit, her little bottoms. 
And then on that side, I just have all of her bibs. And then back there is just some hospital paperwork that um, I didn't really know where to put, so it's there for now. And then this right here is um, the thing that wraps around your belly after birth to kind of help your uterus contract back into its normal size. Um, <laughs> So as I was saying, I had to take a little break because the dog saw a bird outside and were, were barking like crazy. Um, so this is just the um, the band that goes around your belly after you have a baby. It's not the belly bandit, I think it's called. It's just a generic one. So that is the second drawer. Okay, so in this drawer I just have a lot of her um, blankets and like cushiony things. So right here I just have her boppy pillow. It's in a super cute little print with a little elephant on it. So through that in there. And then these are just all of her like blankets that I don't have packed away for the hospital. So we have some like really thick fluffy ones. Um, and then we have some like muslin blankets. These are super cute. I got these as a gift from my baby shower. I'm not sure what the brand is, but I love them. And over here, just some more like swaddly type of blankets, just kind of the smaller thin kind. This one is a crocheted blanket that was my husband's when he was a baby. And then over here, I just have crib and bassinet sheets. And then that is a um, little like sleep sack. So yeah. That is what I have in her nursery dresser. Nice and organized for now. Okay, and then right here I just have her um, glider. This is from Babies R Us. I'm not sure of the brand. I'll have to link it below. But it's just a really soft corduroy material. And I'll give you guys a close-up of the little things that I have sitting on it right now. So this blanket I got from, I want to say there's a place called At Home here where I live. And I got that blanket there. Um, it's just like a mint color and it's a little fray. It has like the fraying at the ends. And then this I got from Etsy. It's a company called Huggable Hoots. And it is pretty much the cutest thing ever. Um, it just has her name embroidered on there and it's super soft. It's just a little pink fox. I thought that'd be such a cute keepsake for her. And then this pillow is from a company called um, Live Sweet Shop, I think is how you say it. I'm not sure if it's live or live, but I think it's live. Um, she makes really cute handmade stuff like this with lots of little sweet prints and animals and stuff. Um, her Instagram is awesome, and I just order, you can find her on Instagram, and you can order through her website that's linked there, but of course I'll link it for you, and then the back just has a really cute print. So those I thought were just too cute to handle, and I love seeing them sitting here. So right next to the rocking chair is just her little window. We do still have to get blinds there. Um, we haven't done that yet, but I just got these extra long sheer curtains from um, Amazon for really, really cheap. I think they were like $12. And then it's kind of hard to see because the sun is blocking it, but that is a gold curtain rod from Amazon as well. And I believe that one was maybe like 13 really cheap. So, yeah, nice and simple. I don't want crazy curtains or anything. Um, and once she has blinds, I think we won't really need thick curtains at all. Right next to the rocker is just this little end table that I put together. Um, I got this from Ross for like 30 bucks. And I'll go ahead and go over it with you. So this lamp is from Target. I've had it for a couple of years. I actually have two of them that were sitting on a mantle, but I decided to put one in here. This is another frame from Home Goods. It's just gold and kind of simple. And then a printout from online of a baby deer. 
And these two little ceramic bunnies came with a big set of bunnies. Um, I believe from a website called Antique Farmhouse. They were selling them for um, Easter, and I thought they'd look cute in here, so I put them there. Okay, so in this top one, I just put all of her burp cloths. I figured since we are going to be um, sort of close to the rocker where she's feeding a lot of the times, this would be the best place to put all this. Um, and then over here, I just have like all of her pacifiers and um, teethers for now. Um, just lots of random ones. So that's it for that drawer. And then down here, I have some breastfeeding supplies. Um, can you guys see that? Hopefully. Um, so I just have um, breast milk storage bags. I'm sure these will end up somewhere else, obviously, eventually. But for now, they're just here. And then these are breast pads. And then these are more um, burp cloths. These are just the typical like Gerber brand. But they're super cute. So that is all that I have in these two. Basically just feeding supplies, that sort of stuff. And get this basket back in. Okay, so now we are in my favorite corner of her room. And this is her crib area. So um, this sign right here I got from Etsy. It's a company called 48 Hour Monogram. And it just comes as like an unfinished wood piece. And I painted it with gold glitter paint. It's kind of hard to see the glitter, but that is what it looks like. And then over here is her little crib mobile. I saw, I saw similar ones on Etsy and decided to just make my own. And I just used a bunch of different ribbon and pom-pom ribbon and stuff and tied it around a crochet wheel, or I think that's what you call it. And then we just hung it up with some white string from the ceiling. So this crib is from um, Babies R Us as well. And not sure of the name, but again, I will link it below. We love it. Um, it's really, looks kind of small in the picture, but it's very, like, big and bulky in person, which I love. And then down here, we just have a little furry rug for her to lounge on and play around on. And that is from Walmart, I believe. Her bedding is from Bye Bye Baby. It's really cute. It just has, like, gold details. This confetti is in the shape of a heart, and then it just says love. And then we have a few different sheets, but this is the one that I have on the crib right now. And then we have a few little stuffed animals sitting in there. This little rabbit is from Ikea, and the little lamb was a gift from my mother-in-law. Okay. Oh, and that's her little um, VTech monitor over there in the corner if you can't see it. <laughs> it's a little owl. Okay, and then right here is an old lantern that I had that was black on top and I painted it in gold glitter as well to m match with the rest of her room. And you can't see it on camera but there's actually strings of like little fairy lights on the inside. So at night or whatever if I want to light it up and amaze her, um, then I can do that and she can just kind of have fun staring at it. And I don't know where the lantern is from. It was actually given to me by my sister because she didn't know, she didn't have a place in her house for it. So I said, sure, I'll take it. And then I ended up using it in here. Then over here is just a little um, hook wall thing. <laughs> Not sure what to call it, but this was from Target. This was from Target, and the hooks were originally like a dark blackish brown color. Painted those as well to match with her room and hung them up here. Um, and then that little dress, I believe, is from Carter's, and I thought it just looked cute hanging there. 
So I'm sure I'll end up putting like bath towels or whatever on there eventually when she's here. But for now, it's just for cute purposes. And over here is her closet. So you can kind of see from afar. That's what it looks like. She's very lucky to be so little and already have a walk-in closet. Something I never had growing up, so she's very lucky. So these are all her little clothes. They kind of go further back um, past this little wall here. But I've definitely been pretty busy buying cute things for her. Um, so we have all of her like cuter onesies, her swimsuit. And then in the middle we have lots of dresses and like um, jumpsuits, that sort of thing. Um, I love this one, it's from Carter's. And then back here we have some like thicker, cozy pajama type of outfits. Up here on the top shelf, we just have lots of little books for her. Um, I have like, if you've heard of the story, The Rainbow Fish, I have that up there and a lot of touch and feel books and animal sound books. Um, there's nothing in that basket. And then we just have some extra random crap still sitting up there that doesn't matter. <laughs> so then over here to the right in her closet, I just have all of her little bath supplies and her wipe warmer. So we have some Johnson Johnson um, honey apple scented stuff, which smells amazing. And then we have all of her little washcloths hanging out in here and her little hooded towels. Um, I got lots of Aveeno as well at my baby shower, so that's all these blue lids. And then I picked up an Honest shampoo and body wash in the scent Sweet Orange Vanilla, and this smells like absolute heaven, so I can't wait to use that on her. And yeah, then we once again just have her wipe warmer, which I'm really unsure about using because I plugged it in to test it out and it got really, really hot, which kind of freaked me out a little bit because do you leave it plugged in all the time or like, how do you use a wipe warmer? Is it just unnecessary? I kind of feel like it is, but regardless, I have one. Below this shelf, I just have all of her diapers stored. And then over here we have her um, little toy box of stuffed animals and our hospital and diaper bags. And then last but not least, um, just next to her closet wall, you can kind of see where we're at. Um, I just have these three little gold mirrors also from Home Goods, hanging on the wall. I thought they were super cute and so princessy. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much the whole room. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.